All right, what is going on, my dudes? We are back here today with everybody's favorite video. Not really, right? It's the July 4th offer predictions. Now, recently, we've had a new progression level. We've had Paragon, Porygon, Polygon that came to the game, right? What essentially I'm doing here is I'm going to be predicting the Paragon and the Throne Breaker deal predictions is what this video is. And honestly, personally, I think they're going to be very, very similar. Um, but we're going to start off with the Paragon one. So let's jump into it today uh, for the Peter Parker's wallet. Essentially here, I have 5,000 six star shards, one Cavalier Nexus crystal and gold for all. So in all of these deals, I'm going to say it's going to be gold. I'm not going to put gold. I'm not going to write gold 30,000 times. All right. But just keep in mind that for all of these, I'm anticipating gold there to be there. Okay. So last Cyber Weekend, there were so many Cavalier Nexus crystals and they were super duper fun and they add value and incentive into the deals. Kabam has no reason to take that away. So I think that they're all going to be there again. It was like 60 plus Cavalier Nexus crystal. I think it's going to be the same thing again. Gold and all. This is very similar to the offer on Cyber Weekend, just more six star shards. Six star shard floodgate has absolutely opened, busted wide open recently, man. So I think that's going to continue on July 4th. So for the loot bag, for the $10 offer, I'm expecting seven and a half six star shards, a 15% T5 CC selector, one and a half tier five basic, four uh, tier two alpha, and then some Cavalier Nexus crystals, of course, with gold. Again, six star shard economy has just really broken recently, man. So I'm just expecting uh, to see a lot of six star shards, a lot of them. Every time there's like a deal and I'm like expecting like a certain amount of shards recently, it seems like it's just like more, more, right? Because like, you know, we've had like the, these like daily cards that are like $30, 15,000 shards, six star shards, right? And this is like the biggest offer of the year. So you, you, it needs to be better than those little offers or else they're going to look bad. So from an economy business standpoint, Kabam needs to make these offers good when it comes to six star shards. Now, I feel like shards is one place where it's okay to push that economy, right? Where like one big day of like, boom, lots of uh, champ openings, lots of crystal openings, because there's so much RNG involved, you know? It's not like busting open, like, I don't know, a six stone economy or something like that. It's like, you know, you're, you're paying here, you're paying for half of one feature six star crystal that's probably going to be like a heimdall you know what you know what i mean so yeah that's what i think it's going to be there for the briefcase now that that 30 dollar and the 50 dollar offer i feel like they, they swap the value there a lot very often sometimes it looks like the 30 dollar is the best value sometimes a 50 dollar one for this what i'm expecting for the briefcase i think a six star nexus crystal in the 30 a 25 percent t5 cc selector and then three tier five basic and seven tier two alpha um along with the calves and the and the, and the gold okay that's what i'm thinking in the 30 dollar offer here and for the black panther treasure the 50 dollar offer i am expecting uh 40 sigs in total this is very similar to um well I think actually in Cyber Weekend there weren't many SIGs for money. There were SIGs for units. But I do think there will be um about 40 SIGs, right, in the Black Panther Treasure. Last deal, there was I think 10 six star SIGs in the $30 offer. But I think that this year there's going to be in the money offers about 40. 50% T5CC crystal, not selector crystal, okay? Because you get 25% selector in the 30, you get, you know, two of those for $60 and you have a 50% selector. Um, you buy one $50, right? You get a 50% crystal, $10 less. That was my justification there. Plus five tier five basic. And of course the next crystals and the gold. And for the Odin's vault last year, man, for, I keep saying last year, for Cyber Weekend, the Odin's vault was the only thing that was worth paying money in my opinion. Like, of course, you know, I have a YouTube channel. I do this for my job, right? So um, I feel like if I wasn't a YouTuber and I wasn't opening crystals in camera and making content with the stuff I got, that's probably all I would have gotten. And it was really, really good. Um, and I expect it to be better. I expect it to be similar, but better. Uh, I've, I've given up. I've given up on the five champ Nexus. I've made five of these videos, like these deal predictions. And every time I'm like, 
going to be the five champ basic nexus man i don't think it's going to happen i don't think it's ever happening i'm going to say three champ class nexus again i don't think people are going to be too excited about that but what they will be excited about is the two to three generic gem which was there on cyber weekend it was really really good right it's not as insane now that like the t5cc economy is busted open as well but i'm also going to throw in 15,000 six star shards there and one full tier six basic and one full tier three alpha for paragon players okay so that's what i'm thinking for the money offers right uh it's looking like a lot of rng right some guaranteed value and some guaranteed value over here right that's what i'm expecting that's what i'm expecting um now with the previous sale this format became a thing and i can't imagine why they would go back to the old the old format because there's more units to be spent here more possible money to be earned right but before we jump into this i want to quickly go and look at the throne breaker offers you're gonna see they are very similar i changed a few things i changed this to half a tier six basic half a tier three alpha i believe i changed this to a 25 percent instead of a 50 percent but honestly, I'm not even sure if that needs to be because Thronebreaker players, they could use the T5CC. I don't know. This was just like, I was like, I was going through it and I was like, man, I feel like there has to be some differences, but I feel like just the early reception of Paragon, I feel like they probably want to be careful with how different these offers are. I feel like the Paragon one can't be too much better than the Thronebreaker one. And I feel like these Paragon offers aren't too insane aside from the Odin, right? So I feel like, you know, Paragon players, they, they, they are moving all the way on to rank fours i have five rank fours there are people in my alliance but six seven rank fours right so i feel like you know throne breaker is still a wide pool where you can just complete act six have one rank three and then you're throne breaker right so being able to buy three rank fours right essentially or two full rank fours there that's it's i feel like they're not going to want to do that for throne breaker players so that's why i'm thinking half a tier five basic half a tier three alpha for throne breaker and then I just lowered the potency of these by a little bit. I lowered this to 15 from 25 and this to 25 from 50, just because I feel like there has to be like some difference. Um, but I was struggling to find like what I wanted that difference to be and what I, not really what I wanted to be because I'm not making the offers, but I'm just predicting what I think they will be. Um, but yeah. All right, units. So these, for the most part, I kept very similar to Cyber Weekend because I feel like it worked. And it's, it's the type of value where Yes, yeah, some things needed to be adjusted, like, you know, um, the amount of things in there needed to be adjusted, but the format seemed good. So for the first 1K unit, 10,000 shards and a mythic crystal, right? I believe this was 5,000 shards on Cyber Weekend. Now I'm going to put 10,000 shards in there. It might be too much. You know, it might be better to put 7.5, but hey, but hey, right up next over here. 10 tier 4 class catalyst selectors and 10 tier 4 basic that's exactly the same over here three tier 5 basic and 25 percent t5 cc this was the really crappy one this was like the one that was like awful it was like the ascendant crystal and the 10 percent t5 cc crystal i i bought it because like why not but like at the end of the day i kind of wish i didn't right so uh, I'm going to say three tier five basic and 25% T5 CC selector in this one. I think that's going to be bumped up. And over here in the 2K, eight tier five basic and 20 tier two alpha. This, it seems like a lot, but this was actually six tier five basic and 18 tier two alpha on Cyber Weekend. So this is not too far off. Two tier two alpha is nothing. And two additional tier five basic is a decent chunk, but I do think that it's time for that, right? One rank four takes five tier five basic, so up here for another 2k um this is so similar man i think it was 36 star sigs and one featured six star i just bumped it up to two two and 40 but who knows i think i think it's going to be like this format though what the exact values of these things are um, i i don't know but i do think that this format should be expected personally like i will i am expecting to see like a featured six star in there you know um, over here, one to two generic gem and 50% T5CC selector. I believe this was a random gem and I believe this was a random crystal, but I do think at this point in the game, make them generic, especially for Paragon players for 5k. These are where they get a little spicy. A two to three generic gem and one full tier three alpha and a six star nexus for 5k. Two tier five class catalyst selectors, a full tier six basic and a six star nexus crystal. This is where I think they're going to start ramping things up just a little bit. 
okay, when it comes to those resources, all right? Because um, this is kind of what they did last year, where the unit deals looked so good at the high end, and the money offers were like, okay. And looking at this spread here, these are like, okay, this one's pretty darn good. And then these, the, you know, the premium offers, those are good. You know, the two to three generic gem, which makes so much sense, man, because look, for here, $100, you're getting a tier three alpha, a tier six basic, and a two to three generic gem plus other stuff. And then for the equivalence of like $160, you're getting that two three, two to three gem and just the one tier three alpha. Then over here, one tier six basic, two tier five CC collectors, right? Two random Nexus crystals. It's probably going to be like Root, Iron Patriot, and Kamala Khan, you know? So I don't know. I feel like it looks like a lot, but I really don't think it's too crazy. And in fact, I wouldn't even be too surprised if it was like one and a half tier three alpha, one and a half tier six basic. I don't even know if I would be too surprised, but let's move on to the last 5K here. I think it's going to be 56 star sigs and 10 plus five sig select, uh, select stones. This is pretty much the same thing as last time. Last time it was 56 star sigs and I think it was like five plus five selecting six stones so very similar and then this was the coolest offer man this was a six star generic gem it was a 2020 champ selector and it was um that's it that's it really so i think it's too early for 2021 champ selector i'm not i don't think they're trying to just let everybody pick their six star hercules their six star kitty pride yet maybe cyber weekend the 2021 champ pool in my opinion a little better than the 2020 pool overall you know, CGR, APOC, really, 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 really good. Hercules, Kitty, a little broken. Uh, so <laughs> a little bit of a, a different, you know, incentive there to, to, to sell a champ selector for, for those champs. You know, I'm not saying APOC and CGR aren't borderline broken in their own ways, but your 20, 20, 2021 got a little silly sometimes. That's all I'm going to say when it comes to uh, champ balance. So I think we're going to have a 10 champ Nexus, which I think is fair because we had a 2020 champ uh, Nexus July 4th of last year. So I think that only makes sense, you know? And then, but this is the big ticket item right here. I think we're gonna see a three to four random gem. Act, sip, act seven, 100%, three to four random gem. That's what I think we're seeing, man. This is like act seven, a little bit better than act seven rewards. And this is keep in mind, not just 3K. This is like, you have to have spent 15,000 units to get this last 3K. So for 18,000 units, and champ 2021 nexus a generic gem and a three to four random gem that's what i'm expecting and if that's not there i'm going to be a little disappointed and i don't know if i'm going to want to spend all my unit because at minimum that's what i want to see at this point right um for me personally as a paragon player as a high level player i have five rank fours not really wanting to spend eighteen thousand units on like half of a rank four that's not appealing to me right and there are people with much larger accounts than me much larger accounts than me right so these offer though these offers that person is who these have to entice so if this would just barely entice me i can only imagine it's probably going to be a little bit crazier than this now for the throne breaker offers for the units pretty similar right i kept a three to four random gem in there you put eighteen thousand units you get a random gem I think it's easier to 100% Act 7 than to get 18,000 units, if you want me to be entirely honest, man, because Act 7 is pretty easy overall, objectively speaking, right, compared to other content in the game, and grinding out 18,000 units is literally going to take you so much longer, so much longer, man. And you think, think about it this way, grinding out those units, let's say a free-to-play player, you want to grind out 18,000 units, how many units can you get per one arena cycle? Like... 550, I believe. It's been a minute since I thought about that. So 550, that's probably going to take you about like 10 hours, give or take, of grinding all of the milestones. You can do like 75% of like 7.1 in that time. In one week, for the 1,000 units you would get, you can 100% act 7 in that time. The next week, you can 100% 7.2 in that time instead of getting the 2,000 units. Right? So in the time that would take you to get about 4,000 units, you can 100% act seven and get a three to four gem. This is 18,000 units. 
So I think that the time and effort spent to get 18,000 units, right, for a free-to-play player, of course, buying them takes about 40 seconds, obviously. But I think this three to four gem, 18,000 units almost seems overpriced to me because of how simple it is to go through Act 7 to get it. You know, when you break down the time requirement, when you break it down like that, it really makes you think about this because it's like, how are the economy people figuring out these offers? I don't know. I don't know. But like when you break it down like the way I just did, it's like, man, that seems overpriced. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, but anyway, pretty similar stuff overall. Half a tier three offer, half a tier six basic instead of a full one. The rest pretty similar, man. And listen, I could be wrong about this. If you are a Thronebreaker player upset about Paragon, please do not take my word for gospel and do not get your hopes up that they're going to be the same because honestly, they probably won't be. I, I'm just expecting them to be a little bit more similar than people think. That's it. Um, and I could 100% be wrong, but we're going to find out soon. July 4th is in uh, two weeks and uh, the deals probably start in 10 days. So, you know, we're going to be streaming the morning of. We're going to look at them together. Even if they're bad, I'm probably going to be picking up at least most of them to make a video and stuff like that. Um, so, of course, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss it. Let me know what you think about these predictions for both Paragon and Thronebreaker in the comment section below. Let me know if you think they're right, wrong, crazy, stupid, too good, too bad. I'm, I want to know what you think. Let me know.